I want to talk about Doja Cat's album Scarlet. We need to talk about this because it's pretty clear to me that after listening to this album, that she clearly is a level above a lot of the girls within her kind of class of artists, right? Whether you think of um, a Coyle Ray, a Lato, um, Flo Millie, whoever they may be, Megan Thee Stallion, all these girls who are kind of in her sort of like grouping, in her sort of class, she's definitely a level above in terms of artistry. You can tell from the way that she puts songs together, from her lyrical ability, melodies and stuff, beat selection, sequencing, um, artistic direction, all this stuff is really good, right? You can definitely tell it. But one thing that I was saying during the whole kerfuffle around her basically, you know, chastising her fan base and basically telling them that she doesn't really fuck with them like that. They need to relax. She's just a star. Adore me from afar, but don't try and be my friend. I don't like you. Get fucked. Leave me alone. That whole thing. I was saying at the time, the only way this works is if your music bangs. You can't be a cunt and have that kind of personality. I think the only way we've seen it work so far has been Kanye version, right? Kanye has shown us that even if you are a really unlikable character or you turn into a very unlikable person or you have very, um, you know, grating and annoying personality traits, you say things people don't like, you generally go out of your way to annoy people, blah, 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 blah. Most people will forgive that if you are incredible at what you do artistically if you're a genius level creative, if you just nine times out of 10, hit it out of the park. And clearly Ye does. If you've listened to the the leaks that have come out, the Jesus King um, produced by Dr. Dre, Jesus King 2, um, some of the leaks of random singles that hasn't put out, the scrap verses for fucking, um, each, what you call it, uh, Life at the Party and all that malarkey, you will clearly notice that, okay, you will definitely step away from those leaks thinking, I get why Ye has a lot of sycophants, I get why Ye has a lot of bum lickers, I get why Ye has a lot of fans who just can't let go of him because there's near one, nobody out there who makes music of that level nowadays, no one. And I think the problem with Doja is that this album just isn't good enough to justify all the antics. It just isn't, unfortunately. It's good enough to be better than all the girls in her grouping, but I've, I also don't think there's much competition and it's not, you know, that stacked of a field. Like you look at someone like a Coyle Ray, right? She hasn't made a good single in years, even though she has the talent to do so. Just for some reason, we get all these horrible 90s remakes things. The only one I think that's been semi-decent has been the one with Buster Rhymes. That was fairly decent single. The rest of them have been pretty terrible. Um, she's kind of fly to deceive. I think Lato also is somebody that you probably couldn't listen to for more than an hour um Megan Thee Stallion I've never really rated too much um and it's always been a bit of an issue so she hasn't really got much competition because this, the, the competition field isn't that great so you can't really use that as much of a win but I just think all the antics all the fucking weird symbolism thing that she was doing to launch the project and the devil worship and all this sort of stuff you know do what you got to do to kind of get your traction I just think all of that stuff is just null and void if when the album drops it's just a bit like meh and after listening to this album especially like six records in i quickly got a bit tired and a bit bored of that voice inflection the kind of thing that she does with her voice right which is kind of similar to nikki but it just feels a little bit more overdone it feels a little bit more tired it feels a little bit more um uninspired and all over the place on this particular album especially because when she put this album together before it launched or before it dropped there was this understanding that she was trying to do a rap album i think even if you look at the category let me see if i saw this yeah it's actually listed on the rap actually it's listed on the rap category on apple music so clearly she's trying to convince people or to remind people that she can rap which i think she can similar to like a beyonce i think people underrate her rapping because melodically singing why she's really good but her rapping ability is amazing i still remember that old fucking freestyle of her sitting in a car somewhere wearing a fucking horrible wig just rapping in a passenger seat with some guy like it's amazing she was like your highness why you always buying that fly shit why you gotta check them tyrants and why you shut it down like hydrants four door or five six see what we get with our mindset know what's priceless when there's nice lenses on my irises need a high check for that white jet to my island why she gotta swag like a light bitch why she gotta brag like a tight bitch why she gotta act like a white bitch 
Cause I don't respond to your hype shit I think that you niggas might like this Like, is the world for me? Do you ever feel like that? Like life is surreal, but you gotta keep it real like that Sometimes you gotta slip real fast Turn down these niggas at the heels, go clack Clack, click, clack He ain't had to ask this bad Only if you bad, then you more like cat We just stack, we don't fold our cats Doji, you ain't a British bitch Shit, I just like British kids Do you mind if I twist my hips and gutsy wine on your bitch's lips? I'm cuntified and I kill this shit I'm done, let the DJ spin this hit Spin this hit tell she was hungry to fucking make it i love when you see those videos of people when they're you know at their you know at the beginning stages hungry to make it thinking all these opportunities are maybe the one that kind of makes you blow and you look back at it in context you're like oh shit this this is where you kind of came from so the album's decent enough but it just for me isn't what i would expect to come from somebody who's making all those antics you just got to come with good enough music and for me it just kind of flies to the sea it's kind of all over the place there's a mix of rap there's a mix of pop um, maybe it's a bit fusiony that's probably what she was trying to go for but i'm not gonna lie i would have much preferred if she just came out with like a fucking boom bap 10 track i'm gonna wrap your face off album then do this whole kind of mix she could have easily done a boom bap album for scarlet and make it rappy rap rapidly rap 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 and try to make her best fucking j cole impression or try to fucking spit like west side gun and all these type of guys right do your thing and then when the deluxe comes out put all the fucking pop hits on there that could have easily been a thing to do because i feel like this mashup it just doesn't work too well um one of the things i always still laugh at still to this day for me is paint the town red that music video fucking makes me laugh so much because in the music video You've got her walking down the street, Doja Cat, right? And for me, it's like you can see a bit of the corny, lame, white side of her come out because she's walking down the street and she's trying to put on her best bad man walk. But it just comes across really cringe and forced. Like she's never really done that in real life. And it just, it's funny when I just see a little bit of it, her walking down the street trying to do that thing. But the track itself is really good. Um, it's a really good way to open up the fucking album. I think it flows really well with demons, flows really well with wet vagina, flows really well with the fuck the girls. Um, and it kind of, you know, from then on, it kind of falls off a little bit. And then it picks up again once it gets to 97, gun, go off. And then it's one of my favorite tracks, obviously being Agora Hills often. And then actually, um attention is one of my favorite tracks i'm not gonna lie i fucking love attention attention is definitely one that i definitely fucking love but again like i said i just don't think it's worthy of all the drama and the theatrics especially some of the stuff that we've seen in london for some reason she got loads of dancers to come down to brick lane here in london which is essentially home of all the hipsters and the trendy people and also half of the street is dominated by some of the best indian pakistani restaurants in fucking england which is fucking incredible so that whole entire strip is full of those restaurants you can go to and have a great time there but for some reason she had all her dancers um you know covered in red like she's obviously been doing some of her marketing stuff and some of her videos and some of her singles um you know running down the street you know dancing and doing this weird sort of like performance art stiff and it's just not good it doesn't make any sense like why are you doing that in london i don't get what the connection between doja cat london and that track it's a bit odd um maybe it's just because we just an easier market to do those kind of activations at because i think didn't um i spice and um what you call it and what's her name and pink panthers do the same thing right they did have that, that little kind of installation somewhere in london too for their single so maybe that's the thing but i never understood that that was a bit strange and yeah overall just a bit underwhelming and it kind of has been shown in some of the sales because i don't know if it's because she personally doesn't get many first week sales and she's probably just a stronger singles artist and maybe tours better and sells a lot more tickets and shit but these first week sales being 60k and again i'm not really a care of first week sales doesn't really matter i'm all about the music but again for all the antics for all the nonsense for all the drama for all the beef that she's been causing with her own fan base fans pages all over the place you know deleting their pages and shit um to only sell 60k first week is a bit of an l like let's be real it's a bit of an l and um it kind of goes to show that you can be as much of a cunt as you want but you just need to have good music, good um, work to back it up with. It's similar to like drugs, isn't it really? If a dealer's a piece of shit and makes you wait fucking hours and hours to get your gear, but the gear's always good, you're gonna want to, you're gonna put up with him. But if the dealer's a piece of shit and their gear isn't good, you're gonna ditch them very quickly and move on to the next person. So I think Doja needs to kind of be aware of that and just relax a little bit. Relax a little bit and figure out a way to kind of, 
navigate that fan base better than what she's doing now i can understand it can be annoying because i'm again i'm not super plugged into the doja verse so i'm sure there's things going on day to day in her life that just you know it's just annoying to deal with because you know in the album there's loads of like little kind of quips at men who want to fuck her that don't get to fuck her it's a it's, it's weird anyway i don't know if she's talking to maybe there's a whole fan base of guys out there who just follow her around and think they've got a chance of her. i'm not really sure what's going on there but regardless, um, she needs to chill because there's one line in fucking, what was it, Agora Hills that doesn't make any sense to me. It was really strange, this line in Agora Hills, right? Um, where is it? It's somewhere here. This one. Um, I'm a mean kitty. Don't get stabbed with a rat tooth. Boys be mad that I don't fuck incels. Girl hate two gun to their pigtail. This is a strange line to put into your raps because if anything don't you fuck incels don't you even hang around with them because that whole meme of her being in fucking chat rooms with her feet up talking to fucking january sixes and shit don't they all look like incels and wouldn't you say her especially the boyfriend that all the fans hate right the one that's allegedly some sort of abuse i've not again i've not really read too much into it but a lot of her fans don't like that she's dating this one guy um some white dude who looks a bit like an incel and again to be not to be mean to the guy but essentially incel nowadays is basically uh it's basically safe online code word for calling somebody ugly or calling somebody undesirable but you don't want to be too mean so you say incel um but essentially that guy that she's currently involved with who kind of you know is the reason why a lot of the fans don't like her more so than the fucking her saying she doesn't want to talk to her fans she thinks her fans are lame that guy looks a lot like an incel so saying that boys be mad that you don't fuck incels is odd because if anything maybe you could say she's kind of been her worst enemy in this thing right because maybe there is a group of fans out there because i think it might have started if i'm if i'm if i'm being correct here again i don't know much about my, my doja cat law but if i'm being somewhere in somewhere correct in this wasn't there an occasion back in the day when doja was like oh if i reach a certain amount of likes or sales i'm going to show you my boobs she did it and then she didn't show anyone her boobs and then everyone and some people got mad because obviously there's there's a weird group of people men especially on the social media who have this weird <laughs> sort of like possessive ownership thing over some women who they don't wouldn't never have a chance to even speak to in real life which is odd regardless some portion of her fan base got annoyed that she did that a little bit of a troll worked to her advantage um that might have kind of led to the whole beef but also i think to myself you shouldn't be annoyed it's hard to be annoyed and frustrated at the people that you attract when some of the guys that you date look like the guys that are trying to troll you or think they have a chance of you online if that makes sense right she's upset that she has a fan base of frustrated incels who think they can fuck but then she also dates guys who look like incels it's a very odd thing to kind of grow up on and again for me this line is just a runaway throwaway line it just sounds fun but i think it is kind of indicative of how all over the place this album is right it doesn't really it's trying to say everything at once without saying anything it's trying to do everything at once without doing really much of anything but the only thing it does do is it does remind you that she is clearly head and shoulders above everybody else because i think she did this with her eyes closed i'm gonna say she probably didn't try too hard with this she probably did this with her hands tied behind her back and i feel like that's scary for all the girls out there because it clearly shows this girl's got vision you look at the music videos the live performances how she just you know is able to trigger people online so easily i think she's definitely a problem for a lot of these girls coming up and for me is probably a bit more of an artist than a lot of these other girls coming up she's clearly in it for the fame obviously but it's still in it for the artistry so there's probably more to come from her um again i would have preferred just a straight rap album if you're going to do that um all this other pop mix in it it's just not working for me personally um and again it's just you know wasn't the greatest and didn't really live up to all the antics to be honest and i think the sales kind of reflect that i'll be good to see what happens with the live shows if all the fans that were talking shit about not wanting to be a fans anymore actually follow through um but i would like to see her chill out more um get down to just making good music again fuck trying to be unlikable who cares about being likable but just make good music you know what i mean because if you're a cunt but your music shit it's hard to really go to bat for you but again what do i know what do i know